Okay, we're headed to Have Ramen right now. Star Wars is amazing. I don't know if that's an exhibit that is everywhere, but if it is, you should definitely go check it out. That was super cool. Uh, so we're going to Odaiba. We're going to Aqua City, uh, to the ramen park. They've got like ramen from all over the country. I think six or eight different shops, so you can pick one, we'll eat it, and then... Eventually poop it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So this is an artificial island? Yes. I think it was built during the bubble economy to like, they were going to build like a whole new section of Tokyo, but then they ran out of money. So. <laughs> Every bit as creepy as it looks. It's looking at me. It's looking at me. This shop is on the fifth floor. That was it? <laughs> She's done. <laughs> So that's just kind of like Tokyo proper, just that whole, right? You can see Tokyo Tower just behind the bridge over there. Oh yeah, the red thing, yeah. somebody who lives here all the time like this is not a place you go to ever right um no i used to come here more often and like it's probably been like two years there's just no reason for me to come here now, yeah right? yeah unless you're specifically coming to like right. for an outing oh this is the fuji television's office head office okay so, so they make like TV they shows do. here. Yeah. yeah, they have studios and stuff. Shows. But it's kind of like a tourist attraction too for people to just go and take a look at yeah, like we're so doing. Obviously people are fans of certain TV shows and they can come here and they can shop for memorabilia from the shows. Okay. I haven't been here for like 10 years though myself. <laughs> We're gonna go see the Gundam. It's somewhere on the water here. I don't remember when they put it up, but ever since they put it up, I was like, I gotta see a life-size Gundam. Sweet, sweet. What is that? <laughs> you know, I bet you, if Johan Kunz is watching right now, he will be able to tell us what that's for. If you're watching, please do tell us. <laughs> am I about to see a Gundam? Oh, I am. There she blows. Well, there's a ton of people. Yeah, earlier it looked like there was a marathon or something going on, and people are like sitting on the side. Maybe they were watching the race. Wow. Yo, that is probably the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. I wish so badly that those were actually real and that I could be a Gundam pilot. <laughs> I mean, just look at that, man. Well, dude, there's a lot of activity here. You got like a boy band concert back there next to the Gundam. 
We got a otaku concert over here about to start. It's happening place. It's happening, dude. <laughs> Okay, we just met up with Michael. We are in Akihabara and we are going to do game shopping as we always do. First up is Book Off. There's always some finds you can find there, hopefully. Classic super potato. You don't want to buy here, but you definitely want to go here because it's very fun to look around and it's very entertaining. But the prices are never particularly good. Okay, Michael's doing it. The willpower has caved. Oh, there was no willpower. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I'm getting one of Oh. <laughs> it's just like, like, I want everything. Like, yeah, yeah, it's just what stops me is usually price. And then also just, where would I put everything, you know? But it's great to have these here and I can just look at them. Oh, so good. Okay, time to head home, eat dinner. Next stop, train. Okay, well we had to stop at one more shop. It's like, every time you try to escape, your eye catches something else, and you're like, oh, what's that, what's that? What's that? Okay, we just left Daryl. We've got another who knows how long to get back, probably two hours. And over here we have the classic ceilings that are a bit too low, and there's really not much you can do about it other than put pads on them so that nobody kills themselves. So this is the last stop for this particular train. So they just wait with the doors open and then we head all the way to the end where nobody would go so we could get a seat. It's pizza time. Almost. Oh, no, Should I do a slow motion for full on cheese? <laughs> 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 
During my trip to Japan, my friend Daryl found a Star Wars exhibit featuring the original props used in the movies, and we decided to go. We'd later be joined by my other buddy Michael to explore Akihabara. Okay, we're at the Star Wars Identities exhibit. I picked Rodian as my character, obviously, because I love Greedo. These props right here are the actual ones they used in the movies. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, but I'm not 100% sure, sure these are like the actual props. I mean, no. the Stormtroopers have to be, right? No, no, they're real. There was multiple versions of C-3PO, right? Mm -hmm. You can see the zipper in the back. You can? Yeah, look at the side. Like oh, yeah, you can. There. Yeah. But look at R2-D2, man. Oh, here's BB-8, too. Yeah. It actually looks like the paint job's kind of sh**. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like, very Star Wars. Okay, we just figured it out. They have little notes telling you which costume is used in which movie. So C-3PO was Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith. This is the actual one. And this one, R2-D2, is actually from A New Hope. So that's crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah, I guess that explains the crappy paint job. Yeah. Isn't that nuts? Yeah. That's the first R2-D2. Strikes back the time of the job. Oh, you can actually see the difference too. Yeah. He doesn't like you. Yeah, I don't like you either. <laughs> like remote control you can see in the back. Dude, Ralph McQuarrie was a beast. The detail on those, oh my goodness. Greedo, there's Greedo. There's Greedo. Just walking around. <laughs> and this, like, I think this is what early like Chewbacca's character was supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. And it's weird because C-3PO, he's like one of the few that doesn't look verbatim. Well, because I think they realized that they had to actually put a guy in the costume. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> but I, I, I saw an interview with Anthony Daniels. is like, he saw this picture in George's office. And he kind of was like, that's how he built the character in his mind of who C-3 build uh. was supposed to be. in those pre-production ones. Yeah, if that was real Yoda, it would not be. <laughs> no. Look at this. I wish they still 
did stuff like this. Yeah, like CG just doesn't have the same feel, right? Well, for stuff like this especially, it's it looked so good. Like you could tell the difference. Like even if you watch like the original Star Wars now, it looks fantastic. It holds up. Yeah, yeah it, holds it, up. Up. it looks amazing. You can actually like see the glue. Yeah, you're right on, on the top, top there. Yeah, like right on the hatch there. When you're building something like this, how do you decide like this pipe goes here and this line goes here, you know what I mean? That's a good question. Use your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Like just this little panel here looks super cheap. <laughs> and the gloves even look horrible. Yeah. But it came across really well on screen. Yeah. Wow, Natalie Portman must be way smaller in real life because she is tiny. Oh yeah, wow, Luke is small too, man. He's not a big dude. Yeah, this is obviously the scene where he's fighting Darth Vader. Right? Who is right there. Silhouette of Han Solo. Greedo. Did yeah, I know, I changed my mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's a trap! <laughs> Still got that ball sack chin. It's really gross. If this is the first one from A New Hope, I will like my pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're headed to have ramen right now. Star Wars is amazing. I don't know if, no, no, stay away from me. <laughs> okay, so where are we going, the ramen? <laughs> first bowl? First yeah. of how many? Just one. Seven. I can't Seven. eat more than this, all dude. You gotta try all of them, probably. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I need to have you walk this into the house and put it in my closet. <laughs> <laughs> Those are not 50 or 60 year old women. I don't believe that. Believe it. <laughs>